Oops. There we go. Oops. This is fine. This is fine. The mic is unmuted. We're good. Are you going to put the keyboard on your lap again? Yeah. Get the tweets going, get the Discord notification going, and then maybe get some sound going, I no, guess. No, no. Terrible, I know. Grab my phone. Probably a good idea. I feel like the timing of the sound may have screwed up slightly from having the window uh, minimized briefly. Guess we'll see. Megabut, thank you so much for the resub. I feel like the outer wilds are mostly calm. Definitely a wire on top of our headphone thing, of our speaker wire somewhere here. Hopefully that's not coming through stream. I think I got it. You got it? Of course I got a new plush. That's like an old plush. But... Yes, plush we've had for a bit, but it seems appropriate. Mm -hmm. Bought me that chongus of a goat for uh, Valentine's Day years ago. Eventually, I feel like it was like the first Valentine's Day we were together. That might have been a bear. I'm sure you bought me that chongus. I I could believe that I bought you that. It seems like the kind of thing I might do. You can't tell, but he's an absolute chonker. He's huge. This, this is my <laughs> hand relative. He's quite big and he's large. very thick. Very That's rounded. So good. He's a goat. The biggest goat in mm -hmm. the world. The largest goat you ever did see. Wonder if it's the keyboard cable. Probably. It probably is, yeah. <laughs> hey, wake up. Ooh, that's gonna come close. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Dear God, it's coming right for us. Wow. Yeah, we could really chase that one. <laughs> but does it scream? This is not Bloodborne. No. This game's a lot less screamy. <laughs> it's only terrifying when you're in the Brittle Hollow. It's true. Or the uh, Dark Bramble. The Dark Bramble is a little bit scary. All right, where are we headed today? That is a fascinating question. Anywhere we're not, not been. I mean, there's a few places, including ones we kind of have been, uh, such as the Tower of Quantum mm -hmm, Trials. Mm -hmm. um, in Brittle Hollow, we basically made it to the city right at the very end there. That's an option. Uh, we also haven't met the Harthian who is living, who is currently on Brittle Hollow, because there yeah. is, in fact, one there. Uh -huh. um, we just, you know, didn't go pay him a visit at the time. And it's true. Plus, do you need to scram? There is the uh, Ember Twin and Ash <clears throat> Twin, of course. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Hanging City. Kind of down. Um, we could go to Brittle Hollow first. Sure, sure. We'll talk to our friend. See if I hit the moon again. Mm-hmm. Off in the space, no. Big fan of that place. 
Hey, Dark Bramble. Want a moon there? For sure it's. Yeah, if we go along on it, we just have to like look away from it. Clearly. And go towards it. There we go. Found the hollow. Let's go. Brained by the wanderer. Great. Mm-hmm. Managed not to fall into the sun there. That's nice. You can also turn your ship and not have it, uh, you know, deviate from course, which is nice. There's a volcano moon that, of course, you haven't been on because it is a volcano. That is true. Let's go take a look around if we want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That sounds like fun, get hit by a meteor. Hollow's Lantern. The surface is, of course, lava. Can you go, like, inside it? Mayhaps. Cool, there. That just leads to more lava. <laughs> Whee! There's a thing mm. to land on. Okay. God help me mm -hmm. for actually managing to do that. Good luck. He needs a little less lava. Nailed it. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Remember to turn on a spaceship. Our space. Yes. Exceptionally important in here. Oh, you look at that! Hello. Ember Hearth. We've been there. Once or twice. Our ship's doing just fine. Uh huh, don't worry about it. Ah, uh, I think the projection oh. stone. Uh... Nope, it's there. No, there's writing. Oops. Is that good? Friends in the Timber Hearth Mines, the last type of warrior sent us survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability and our forge has already burned through everything you sent. We'll deliver more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ash Twin Project's protective shell. Yes, I do even case on a supernova proof, however briefly, has killed my curiosity. Ooh, supernova proof. Mm. My gratitude, I imagine we'll also have an updated estimate soon of how much ore is needed to seal off the Ash Twin project. <laughs> Too close. Will it be more than we initially thought? It'll be significantly more. The smallest cracker opening the protective shell would destroy everything. Oh boy. That would be an issue. I do like how if you get, like, real up close to this stuff, it's actually, like... That's chemistry right there. Yep. Little structured blobs. That's chemistry. I, I recognize chemistry. I have made a, uh, <laughs> slight awkwardness for myself, where I'm gonna end up in the ship every time I, uh, try to walk through here. Alright, so this is gonna project somewhere we've already... Yes, I believe that yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the uh, mine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're a little bit sideways right now and things have gotten a little strange, but we have in fact been here. We have, indeed. Yeah. I don't know that there's anything else around here. Also very low gravity um, mm -hmm. and large rocks flying around. We could attempt to get over there. That is true. We Probably die, we die. For this to explode. It's fine. Next year, carbon hexes are very recognizable. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Chemistry is cool. Terrifying. Gravity here is basically non existent. 
point four times, depending on where we go. Where we go. Yep. <laughs> that was a didn't, little close. Didn't get dunked in the lava. It's fine. It's but fine. I did not get dunked. It's fine. We're good. We're fine. We do, in fact, take. You're definitely gonna die trying to get out here. I think I might be stuck. Oh no! I may have wedged it just right. Oh no! Well, I. Suppose we could. Oh. Okay, okay. We're free! Haha! But, like, I think we could potentially have. Like, rocket ship from the moon to the surface? Yeah, we could have jumped and escaped Hollow Lantern's gravity. Alrighty. Where's the Say hello to a person. Indeed. Now sticking out the bottom there. Hmm. There's a bit of a cannon right there. Indeed. Something sticking out there. I can't remember which bits of this feeling. Like. I don't believe we've been here. No. No. We went into the underbed and I think we warped up to the surface. Been a has been a bit, yes. Hopefully we don't fucking explode. Ah, hello. Basically, like, directly below us in a relative sense. I'm mean, totally gonna get brained by a meteor at some point. I do believe that at least the uh, northern parts of the, or like the poles of the island, because we're at the south pole right now, don't get hit, which is why they have snow. Uh. Not... You know, 100% certain. Alright, so can we get in this dome or do we have to go in from below? Imagine we'll be heading in from below. Hello. There are some stairs here. Generally a good sign, but ah! As always, this yeah, damn door. There's thing behind us. Alright. I'm here. Yeah. I did it. I put the ship down safely. You sure did. The, the ship went down. <laughs> I didn't sustain bodily harm. You minor repairs. Like the ship never even been hit by those rocks. My better attempts. Feldspar would have uh, would barely have laughed at me. I bet. It's good news. Bad news. Haven't found any way inside this structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring. But I think I would have would have found an entrance by now if there were one. Probably. Can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm gonna head north to the ruins on the equator and try to find a way down. So there we go. This is not our ship. No. I did notice that. Can I get inside it? I don't believe you can go inside the other Harthians' ships, no. Fingerprint locked. Pretty much. Though this does mean I'm gonna be going, uh... Into, into a place down. where I might be able to get beamed. We're totally gonna get beamed. It's gonna be real funny. Mm hmm. Gabbro? Yeah, we can hear Gabbro. Ah, because he's named now. Yes. Oh, there's smoke. This is a campfire. Some trees. Seems like we found the camp, at least. Mm-hmm. Journey here from the South Pole has been... Uh, I'm going with harrowing. Because <laughs> of the um, all the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed. And not on and fire. And not on fire. Both good things to be. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little. There's some sort of nomad path that starts across my campsite inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. Mm -hmm. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. 
Oh, there we go. Ah! Hmm. Ah, Ghost Matter. Don't go into that I one. Still don't know exactly what Ghost Matter is. No, but it is that house. It is that house. Those are gravity crystals. Ah. Well, these are stairs. And those are gravity crystals. Oh, hello. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Isn't it? Last time we went on a gravity crystal path, you fell. Mm-hmm. I'm very good at video Yeah, who puts gravity crystals in a blind rack? Apparently the goats. <laughs> Be a little bit careful. I wait, crystal workshop above, yeah? Fair enough. And we're in there. <clears throat> hey, buddy, how's it going? No, we are clearly getting closer. Gravity cannon. I do you love a gravity cannon? Another gravity path looking down. Mm hmm. The hanging city is off yep. this way. In fact, I believe we were on this bridge. We jumped to it. Ah. We can't quite see the curvature of it, but... Down we go. Why, yes. Down is correct. Here's the black hole. Mm-hmm. Right, buddy, are you living above this black hole? Maybe it sure is. Hey, pal, what's up? Hey, Ryback. Oh, you watch. That's great. Good, great job, you. Great job, me. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here <clears throat> a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably already knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. It's great. It's not falling apart and being mm -hmm, mm -hmm. rained by uh, meteors every day. What are you doing here? I'm here for the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard others say it, right? I I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck that I landed here somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just gonna stay here until I'm ready to move on. That's about enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be... yeah. All right, well, we have actually learned something. We've got where should I explore and what are you doing out here? So let's see, what'd you learn? Oh my, so we got the Know My Escape pod, the old settlement, and we did technically see the Hanging City, so we, we've done oh, a decent right. amount of Brutal yeah, Hollow. all of this. Know My probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. They must have been in trouble when they landed their escape pod, but what kind of trouble? And I believe this is the last of the uh, older space dudes, because we did find Feldspar last time, who is another potential contender for last space, uh, last spacefarer that you might find. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where did the escape pod launch from? Well, we do actually know that, too. Find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. All right. They can be really time. helpful for just remembering, you know, what's gone on, mm -hmm, what you mm -hmm. found in the past. Hard to believe this settlement's still standing, but there it is. Really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timberheart, you know, where he isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and Yeah, and yeah, such. that's just fair. Saw the Hanging City. It was very scary. It was pretty scary. Was we pretty were only scary, there pretty buddy. briefly. Hanging City's where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was 
their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build the most advanced settlement so close to a you know what is beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing that, that kind of thing makes sense to a nobody though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. It's all right. We've jumped in there. It's totally fine. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just dump shout to the side. It's fine. We we have explored the black we hole. We explored the black hole. It's totally fine. Most exciting stuff's below the crust. Yep, hanging city to the north. Southern Observatory. We'll try to get up there. Someday. Uh, are you? I'm an archaeologist, or the archaeologist. Yeah, there's like a dozen of us total. That culture, history, and science. All my favorite things. Alright. Well, I will also take some food from you. Or some fuel, specifically. Yeah, give us fuel. We don't need food. We're only alive for 12 minutes. That is true. Signal identified. Reback. There we go. I also see the end of a uh, elevator type thing here. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, up from the black hole. So if you can get yourself caught, I believe you will end up around we, here. We did see that, yeah. Tower of quantum knowledge. Ooh, I do have a tower of quantum knowledge. Best kind of knowledge. Ah, let's take two different places, I guess. I believe it's two different directions. Yeah. Ah, one takes you out, one takes you in. Yep. Well, hey. Well, let's go! That looks like a tower. That looks like an awesome tower that I want to explore. Hmm. Oh boy. Is that on. good? That's probably very bad. Oh boy. I think we just got the thing knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> the pattern with the path we were on. Oops. Does that mean we came a bit too late? Um, we could potentially get back. Totally fine. Nailed it. We get like knocked out of this. Looks like it just ends right about here. Oh, huh? oh, I guess the tower's gone? Yeah, the tower may have fallen Oops, in. The tower fell into the black hole. It's a bit hard to tell with the gravitational lensing that was going yeah. on. Yeah. There's another tower over there. No, if we can get to. Potentially. Yeah, it looks like that just goes out into space now. Oops, perfect timing. Yeah. Apparently. It's, it's out in space now. Well, we do kind of know that the hanging uh, city sticks around. Mm -hmm. so we could potentially go there. Or at least parts of the hanging city. Yes. I do love the way that this bridge... Uh-oh. <gasps> Mistakes were made. Oh, into the black hole. Maybe we can find the tower on the other side of the black hole. Maybe. Oh, so once you're through there, uh, get that go. Pet, 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 pet. Hello, um, interloper. Oh, hey, buddy. What a moon chick. Mm hmm. I think that might actually be, uh, uh, the deep. Ah, it's quite bad, yeah. Alright. You can't actually see most of Brittle Hollow is, like, around here. See that tower anywhere? That's a good question. Rather difficult to see most things, really. What's that, what's that thing? I believe that's the station. Ah. Whitehall Station. There's something over there. Oh mm, yeah, that has like bit out of it. Has some teleporters. I have played most of it. Um, have not actually finished it. Serene has not seen Whee. very much. Yeah, I'm like completely new. All right, this looks like a fun place to explore. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Whoa. 
We missed. It's like one of the meteors even ended up out here. <laughs> it's not like there was too much down there. <clears throat> it was just like a pathway, it looks like. Yeah, it was like a door. Tree over there. Hmm. Really hard to see, it's so dark. Yes, yeah, so we're quite far out from the sun here. Ooh, hello, looks that promising. looks promising. There's some no my writing over there. And some oxygen. <laughs> we're about to miss again. Luckily, most of this stuff isn't really orbiting. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh well, that's quantum right there. Oh, I'm the music started. Well, yes. All right, all right. Quickly. Bloom and Felix, I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Of no unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal the shard produces calling out from giant steep timber hearth and the hourglass twin. Suppose there are other shards like this one. The only other object to observe displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior in this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions a strange type of rock isn't found anywhere else in Bristol Hall. Is yeah, it isn't found elsewhere in Bristol Hall. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis, this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it's even a small piece of the moon itself. Ah! Hmm. Interesting. Guess if you why this, this is in fact a tower shard. Hmm. Quantum fluctuation. Well, we can potentially find this... Hi, Chrome. ...on Fuck uh, off, Chrome. our next playthrough, because it does in fact look like there's some stuff here. Yeah, so is this the tower that fell in? I believe this is the tower, yes. <laughs> there we go. Hey, good timing. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to mosey over that. Yep. It's popped up over the game. And stayed there. Thanks, Chrome. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a good day to die. Indeed. Well, that went good. We shouldn't have any more runs where we talk to, like, uh, the guys anymore. At least that. Wow, we're never talking to them again? I mean, we'll probably talk to them, but not quite for as long. That's what? likely what took a lot of the time in this. They're so lonely, though. That's I fair. mean, they've been out in space on their own for ages. It seems mean to never want to speak to them. <laughs> We could either continue to explore and try to see what we know in that place, yes, or... Yes, yes, 100% I want to explore that tower. All right. Tower, Well, we tower, do know that tower. the quantum fluctuations are on top of it. Mm -hmm. So we can likely uh, use that as a way to kind of guide us over. Hit the moon. Hit the moon. Hey, it's a distinct possibility. <laughs> Put this damn moon here. There goes the probe. Mm -hmm. You're totally gonna hit to burn. <laughs> that was Your close. autopilot can do that, by the way. <laughs> um, you can like slightly affect the autopilot, but again, if you if you do it in the wrong way and it hits the sun, like get dunked. So you're just gonna like try to land and then go down, or like go under in the sh- Um, I'll probably land. I'm sure at some point the autopilot is going to throw us into the sun. Frankly, I'm a little surprised it hasn't happened already. Yes, it hasn't happened yet, but I'm sure it will. Mm-hmm. 
The way you normally oh, see that uh, rock is on the planet's surface. Yeah, yeah, so it's above the tower. Yep. Remember your spacesuit. Yay! <laughs> fine, I'm fine. <laughs> I have not yet fucked it up. Yet. Yes, yeah. We can get down from here into the tower. Um, we can always take a look at least. This is the uh, conversation. There's another conversation here. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal, <laughs> even for this alien planet. It's, and I never see them it, move. It's true. Is that even possible? It doesn't seem normal, but you know. Mm-hmm. If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There's a lot of other matter uh, in this area, such as the unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too, Thatch. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis, the rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what's causing the other nearby objects to also move around this area? This is, I guess, the thing that you tend to see before the rock, because you're kind of meant to land on it. <laughs> Bloom is right. The trees do move. I confess, I didn't notice until I read his notes. Oh boy. Oh, no, I don't like it. No! <laughs> I no! love the quantum effect no! in this game. It's no! so scary. No, I hate Oh, I don't no! like it. I don't like it! No! <laughs> I love it so much. It's all those, you don't know, all those cars that get in accidents are trees. It's these trees. These trees jump out in front of them. Mm -hmm. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Yes, I would love to land on that quantum moon. I would love to be helped in my journey. I want to go to the quantum moon and blow it up. Mm-hmm, as one does. It's scary, and I don't like it. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. All sorts of stuff around there, but, uh, nothing really, uh, showing us an entrance currently. It's further down below. Indeed. Some, like, sign stuff. Ah, yes, the warp. Southern Observatory. Probably enough to the south. Entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, below. That is going down. Whee! My black hole. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last knowledge you need for your journey. Well, some slightly bad news about these stairs. Ah! And the gravity's too high for us to... Uh, yes, we would not be able to boost our way up there. But when it's in space, the gravity will be low, right? Mmm. An interesting thought, that. Alright, what's this thing? Oh, so that, that only is over to where we were before? I think so, yes. I think the crossroads is where Rybeck is. I can even see the start of the bridge there. All right, so we just do we just wait around here for it to fall into space? Might take a little bit, but it could potentially be a thing we do. Like here, here we can have a look at first. Oh, hello. Oh, bye, bye. <laughs> All right. I don't know if that would have killed us. It might have. Face right through. Flipping doesn't uh, occur. That's true. 
there's like that little gap we can jump. Mm hmm. See what's over in this direction? Yep. So we can always try to keep an eye on when ah, this falls down. Dead goat. Indeed. Okay, couple of pathways. Yeah. Uh, uh, both seem to just kind of. And. Oh, yes, they go over to there, but they're no longer. That switch them on as well. Yeah. But they're misaligned. Oh, well, you know what that means. Hunt it. It's like I'm playing Halo! <laughs> huh. Ah. Not ideal. It's a little broken. It happens. Boimp. This path has definitely seen better days. Especially given the giant gaping holes that seem to be opening up in it. Yep. You get the sense that this might have been more complete at one time. Maybe. Tower. Actually, a good idea. Wherever it is now. <laughs> There's the pathway. It's still standing. It's still currently. there. Yep. Mm -hmm. At least if we know where it is, keep an eye on it. Things are falling. They do tend to do that. Oh, goodness. <laughs> bye bye. We're actually pretty close to the South Pole at this point. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Yeah, no, we ain't we ain't going through there. No. Whee! Alright, can yeah, we? That definitely seems like an issue. Jump? That is a fair question to ask of me. Good luck. Yeah! Oof! I was looking at my oxygen being yeah. like, mm. <laughs> We're fine, we're good. <clears throat> Alright. This matter does show up in the most inconvenient of times. Alright, are we gonna go up into the observatory? Yeah, we can always do that. Get that, that a shot. Here? I believe that's where we are now. Mm -hmm. I donked myself a little. Oh, it's only fine. A little bit. It's totally fine. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to... Launch it! Yoink Whee! for it! Hmm. Oh, hello! There's the door. Alright. Although I'm guessing it doesn't stay open. No, not throughout the time. There's another panel. This might tell us something interesting. Alright, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Oh, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. It's a little weird. Sava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts. <laughs> we were very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Fire constructed a model of Giant Steep here at Brawl Southern Observatory revealed how an object might sink below the current. Now I am unable to grasp the answer by looking to the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, will you kindly explain? you not mind the trek beneath the surface of the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. Trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. 
So I believe this same log is <clears throat> elsewhere in the, uh, like, you can find this on potentially Giant's Deep somewhere. Um, that basically says, come here if you want to figure out how to get under Giant's Deep. Uh, if we look at this, you might notice something about these two. Pretend twisters. Then they're going. Cassavis is stretching your arms and using cyclones and giant steep to lift orbital probe counterparts to orbit. One component was pushed down past the current and usually prevents anything from slipping. Fire and iron crafting a mold to determine why this happened. An update is now clear there are two different types of cyclones. Most cyclones and giant steep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Cassavis typically use to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters below the current. My gratitude, Spire. You can already show me your handwork and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. Was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? Yes. The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. These, these goats are scientists. They sure are. So there you have it. The way that we're going to get under the current is with a uh, anti-clockwise tornado. Ooh, lots of info here, huh? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh boy. Look at these. Solar system. Actually, a model of the solar system. That's me. What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? We're fucking idiots. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Sava, how can you suggest that? The eye's signal called out to, uh, to summon us to this star system. Aware, I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star this star system's sun. This would mean that the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to this star system. We were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Addle Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here both are unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis. The eye has stopped submit is emitting its signal. Giant steep there. There's the bramble. Hello. Here's the eye. Whoa, hello. Well, that's interesting. What is it doing? Mm. We didn't put the cow on this and I should have because I'm now going to look at you. It's true. I'm being looked at. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. It, the game is getting very loud right now. Yeah, there's a bunch of whooshes going on. You're probably gonna have to yell a bit louder. <laughs> we need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except on the quantum moon. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. I sure did. So we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. Yeah, that didn't work too well. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Oh, is that like time's repeating and they're sending it out in every direction? I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology they're developing? Fucking time travel, bitches. Hmm. So yeah, it seems they're not really. They they know that the eye is around this solar system somewhere, but um, very difficult to tell where exactly. 
And given the vastness of space that's going on here, that that's our entire solar system and it seems to be out there, very unlikely that they'd be able to shoot a probe directly at it. No, unless they did it infinite number of times in a and, time loop. You know, maybe. Goddamn sheep and their goddamn time loops. Mm-hmm. Well, the tower has definitely fallen into the in the black hole by now. I would certainly guess so. We just have to fall into the black hole. And hope we have enough fuel. Didn't scare me this time. Oh, hit that is tower. that still there? Ah, totally is. We'll probably go to Ryback. Yeah, we can if like... If I can manage. Pop over. Yeah. It's definitely gonna fall soon. Yes. And this actually ends up being perfect if I can do that. And we can just watch it from here. suddenly disappeared. <laughs> definitely going. Yeah. I believe it does take a while, so I, I am glad we went on a uh, completely yeah, yeah. On different walkabout nice here. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I could potentially stick myself to this place. We'll, we'll see if that's, you know, super effective or not. Bye, Scout. <laughs> we could take him with us. And shoot him out and see where he goes. That is true. That's tall. Yeah, I appear to have stuck him. Oh. Actually, I might have shot him through the ceiling. <laughs> Let's have a look. Why is he taking pictures up? Yeah! Yeah, I totally shot him through the ceiling. Go figure. Yeah. Our scout is not looking too Our great Our surface right integrity is 7% apparently, so... Certainly a lot over here. This place has got to fall soon. I would have to imagine so. I was actually kind of surprised it was still uh -huh. chilling. Right? I totally expected this to be here and it'd be gone. Yeah. Oh, wait. Little bits are falling. Mm-hmm. I think it's kind of just like that a lot of we're, the time. We're getting crumbly. I think they're... Oh, oh. God, I have no idea if there's going to be oxygen there or not. Five percent. Probably fine, right? Hmm. Probably. Well, I think our oh, ship. Bye. Uh, <laughs> bye, ship. Might be taking a walkabout from us. Admittedly, I feel like our ship was above us, like above the quantum tower here. So I'm not totally sure how it got 20 kilometers away oh, from us. Oh, oh, goodness. Nope. I thought <laughs> we were moving. Not schmoovin' yet. Mm-hmm. Clearly it was my mistake, uh, coming over here now. Are you thinking about going over and getting some oxygen? Uh, tough to say. Oh yeah, that's the crossroad. Ah yes, part of this is gone. There used to be two paths here. Yep. One of them appears to have uh, disappeared at this point. Mm -hmm. Luckily, just the one will do us. Our ship will be waiting for us over there, but. Yeah. Not any difficult to find. Alright, 
back over me now. Mm. It'll have fallen by now, I'm just don't notice. Oh, of course. That's just fine. That's... That might be it going now. Oh, there it goes. It sure is. Okay, so that's good. Alright, in we go. Perfect timing, really. I mean, not really. It would have been, if it had fallen like 30 seconds later, that would have been perfect, actually. True. We could have, like, gotten to it. Alright, where is it? Interloper. Yep, that's it there. Yes, this is one way to get around. Donk. Fair. Moving around space like this is not trivial. All right, so we need to find a plate somewhere. Oh, there's a scroll. This is probably one of the tougher, like, just general movement sections of the game, I would say. I don't know if we can do... I think that, like, down there it takes projection stones. Yeah, it looks like projection Ah, there we go. And there's already actually a scroll in there. Three oh, seconds. That is nice. Oh boy. Ah, my ship's doing good, it sounds like. Oh no. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you completed your preparations on Giant Steep and are ready to depart from the Quantum Moon. Oh, for sure. On your pilgrimage, the quantum moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the moon's sixth and most secret location. Ooh. You were aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the quantum moon. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Be curious on your journey. Brought there. Yes. Be interesting. You usually do it on like benches and things. Ah, there we go. That one is unused. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you're almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. I would love to. What's your history? Make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to the star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and Ember Twin with no communication between these two groups of survivors. These nobody looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This time and many nobody who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these no mind and carry the curiosity onwards with you. Tell me how to reach the moon! <laughs> That's unhelpful! Some nice, uh, things here. Alright, can I find a projection? That's a good question. It's like flitting around, isn't it? Ah, yes. What does that mean? Not the eye now. Indeed. Now it's a dark bramble. Oh, is that where the quantum moon is? Hmm. Why, yes, it is. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing what I can. Totally 
totally sure where this projection stone might be. Like a level below. Yeah. Front row. That's fine. It is weird, because I would expect one to be here. Yeah, there is like a wall. I'm sure it is, you just don't know where it is. Yeah, you don't exactly get a huge amount of time to like, find it. I would have guessed we'd see it like a little higher up, you know? I mean, down there is just the, uh... Yeah. Yeah, it could just be flying out in space somewhere. Kinda weird that. I don't really see anywhere else that it might be. It's rather difficult to move around this area in zero yeah. gravity to like get closer to things that might help us. But we're about to die. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I guess we really want to do the giant steep and go to the... Hmm, yeah, it did say. Now you know everything there is to know. And we do know how to get there, and that will not take the entirety of uh, the time to wait for it. Whoop! Yeah, whoa! I just got gravity whirled there. It's all right, and the supernova is coming. Yes. Whee! Oh, there God. It is. I am I am fucking <laughs> spinning oh, right now. Oh, it's making me a little. I'm sorry. Ah, we are, oh like, boy. out of fuel. Oh, boy. Yeah, I can't actually walk through this. Oh, we're gonna explode very soon, though. I'll tell you when it's safe. There we go. Okay. Okay, there isn't a stone here. I am going to take a quick bathroom break before we start this, uh, cycle. But yeah, we could always head to the Quantum Tower on Giant's Deep. Yeah, we get below the current now. Yes, we also do know how to do that. Yeah, probably just go to the, like, the chart of mysteries. Hey, Moon. By the way, sometimes you'll blink in the start of this scene and the moon will, like, be there and then go away. <laughs> I always thought that was really cool. All right, I will be right back. Just me now. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll go and launch myself into the moon. I actually yeah. I actually don't know how to control the game, so <laughs> if it has a like, controls anywhere. Oh, yep. I definitely, uh... Buzzed controls are a thing. Alright. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, ooh, uh, uh, up we go, up we go. You have a gravity crystal. Yes, that's how we can stand our ship. Oh, boy. Alright, <laughs> alright. Yes, left shift um, and control is basically what has what controls the uh, oh. upwards force. I'm gonna crash on the moon. It's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. I believe that is the lander that you could that someone talks about sending around Timberhearth or yeah. the, like the this little scout. Okay. All right. <clears throat> And there you go. You didn't crash into the moon. I didn't crash into the moon. Yay! Hopefully and yeah, I... your character just doesn't blink the whole time, it seems. Nope. At least, except right when they wake up. Maybe it's just the other two eyes we're not looking out. Maybe. Alright, so we're going to the tower or under the sea? Uh, we could do the tower. I don't 
quite remember exactly where it is. I believe it's either the north or the south pole, but... Was it on top of that giant cyclone? Yes. Hello. Whee! I have to figure out how to tell which one's moving anti-clockwise. Ah, there we go. That's the lad. Yeah, that's the big lad. And dirty, but it's fine. Fine, we made it. Donk. That was a very satisfying donk right there. Of course, we got 2x gravity over here. Yes, let's actually explore this now that the universe isn't exploding in less than a minute. Eyes are just better than our awful human eyes. And don't That's try true. Out. Yeah. And we came here and then we got supernova. Too. Yes, we came here right at the end, but you know, we, we put a pin in it. Mm -hmm. I'm so used to the no gravity that walking around like this feels weird. <laughs> it's unnatural now. Mm hmm. Alright, sheep, what you got for us? Knowledge we could possibly need. I jumped in here and like. I'm pretty sure we went down the first hole, like the first floor yeah. of this, but yeah. didn't quite get a chance to like actually start learning about quantum stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, how melty is my brain gonna get? Mm -hmm. No friends, only self. You like the, uh, that is the quantum moon symbol up there. Yeah. We did see that in the other tower. This was basically where we finished last yeah, time. Yeah, seek the wandering arch. Oh, hello. So of course, it moves yeah, whenever we go. fucker. So what we want to make sure we do is, uh, keep a good eye on it. Keep an eye on this fucker. Because it has a hole. I don't know why I'm, like, so stuck on the stairs there. It's stuck on the pole, I think. Yeah. No unidentified ah! signal. For example. Fucker. I even jumped there a little bit. I know, he did. He, <laughs> like, Rrr. That's the island shard. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, we do the same. You'll notice that now... Can't actually keep the, uh... Keep it in the... In line of sight. Can I have to figure out how to go through it without looking at it? Oh... Oh, the scout can look at it. Okay, as long as something's looking at as it. As long as the picture's up. It will actually stay, will stay in, place. in place. Ah, it's gonna hurt, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Quantum mechanics is like that, though. Now you fucking piece of shit. Hello again, friend. Get out of here! Oh, the tree moves as well, doesn't it? Of course it does. Oh, it sure does. Arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. That crystal. Oh, is that like a gravity crystal? That is indeed a gravity crystal. By the way, if you're not looking at it, uh, it will go away. No. And as it says, the arch and the crystal will not end up on the same uh, place. So is this like putting a scout like it's both of them, or...? I think what you actually need to do... You just need to, to see one of them? Yes. In fact, I think you need to make it so that you can't, uh... Like, you can't see the bottom bit of it. Ooh, hello. Yes, you can put them together. That 
will also stay with us. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, fair enough. arch over here. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Last one. We made it harder. Hello, friend. I don't like him. He's not a friend. How he goes? <laughs> For our congratulations, you've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. Walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. Praise the moon. Well, there we go. We now know how to make uh, space rocks up here. Doesn't seem super helpful for getting on the quantum moon. Also, pet that goat. Mm hmm. Thank you, goats, for all of this help. Well, it is, I guess, helpful. But I'm sure. I believe, yep, this is the exit. Let's get ejected out of the tower. Okay. But yes, if we do want a uh, shard so, to chill, we can do that now. So there are the quantum areas. So we're now going to two. Indeed. Um, sort of the first and the final one, I guess. I think so, quite possibly. There's this might a... even be the second one. Um, yeah. The big one that is like that we haven't done anything with is the one on the. Uh, Ember Twin that, like, was kind of just appearing in the cave with us. Yeah. They mentioned the lake bed cave. Yes, but the sand was too high for us to, uh... We, like, went back in and it was already yep. filled with sand. Yeah, have to take a quick look at the log now. We'll have gotten quite a few different things. Yeah. A little bit. <coughs> We did learn about the ore samples uh, from Timberheart that got sent to this. They were trying to create a supernova-proof shell to encase the Ash Twin project. And if anything fucked up, that would be really bad for it. We did find Ryback's camp. Or Ryback. <laughs> we made it into the Southern Observatory. And we basically learned that despite uh, it being more 
it's like fancier than the one on our moon, it still couldn't figure out where the fuck the eye was because the yep. eye is really, really far. Mm -hmm. We did, in fact, learn about that. Perhaps we can act on that. We definitely should, yeah. learned about most of this stuff. We've also got quantum knowledge and quantum trials. Yep, told us about the rule of quantum imaging over here and the other quantum shards of other lessons to teach. And I believe the Tower of Quantum Knowledge basically told us that the uh, quantum moon actually goes to the eye sometimes. Yes, we did see it. Yep, over by the eye. Mm -hmm. Built a shrine to help them figure it out. And the shrine has to be on the moon's north pole. So this is stuff that I actually don't know because I have never been on the quantum moon. Um, I learned most of these facts, but I never actually made it onto it. Perhaps we will change that. It'd be very funny if I hit the cannon while I was doing that. So we are now in under the. In current. order to get there, we're gonna have to go into that jellyfish. Yep, we did in fact learn about that. Thanks Fortunately, so far. we don't really fit, or our ship doesn't really fit. So. I should wait for this one to come up, or just go for that one over there. Rather difficult, yes. Alright, so do we just slam right into this jellyfish? I believe we need to get, like, under him and then go up. A little bit of lick. I don't know if he will remain that way or not. that could happen. We died, but you know, we revived. So. Gross. In it. Oh boy. Can I like land on the lip here? How do we tell when it's gone down? Good question. Well, 
We made it. Oh, this is creepy. Isn't it? We are in the center of a planet. We have indeed found the probe tracker model. There's a statue. Indeed. Hi. Its eyes open. Hmm. And uh, will you look at that? Got an Ash Twin projection stone. Sure does. I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Rami is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you in the orbital probe cannon? Well. We are. The probe tracking module is ready to record each launch flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. <laughs> Very good. I mean, they did blow up the cannon. Mm -hmm. Once the probe is determined the location of the eye of the universe, I will send an alert directly to you and Raimi. Yes, we also have the launch module, which we have seen. Yes, we sure have. Uh, yep. It's the one that's doing it's well. It's doing great. It's doing fantastic. Mm -hmm. It is in space and having a time. As most things are, at some level. Imagine, Privet. Probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks. Will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once, anyway. So who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? Doing I wouldn't mind, bullshit. Mallow. I wouldn't mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Well, on the plus side, it does seem to be here. It is intact. It's just in a weird place. Oh, there's a big orb up there. Mm-hmm. Roll the orb. As one does. Neat. Alright, we're gonna get some info. There yeah, there we is. go. Visualizing current trajectory of the Nine million three hundred and eighteen thousand and sixty-five. Does that go up? Neat. I don't know actually. Saving data from Pro nine million. It does go up? I figured it would every time loop, because that's, yeah, it's every time loop yep. is setting up pro. Yep. I wasn't sure we'd, like, come back here to ever, like, test that, mm -hmm. but... Ah, that's all, that's all the probes I've shot out. Oh, that's a lot. But space is kind of infinitely... Yeah. Very pretty. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe, found by probe 9,318,054. Total number of probes launched, 9,318,065. 9, so yeah, we have done, I guess we've done 11 loops. I believe so. I feel like we've done more than that. Kind of tough to tell. Yeah. Playing coordinates for the eye of the universe. Retrieving stored coordinates from the Ash Twin. Okay, so yeah, we have found it. And it's that, apparently? There you go. It's it's so obvious, isn't it? I don't know why we didn't look there in the first place. So I guess we have found the eye of the universe. 
Yay? In, in a sense, I suppose. <clears throat> I guess finding it maybe causes us to a supernova. I believe that's all we've got to do here. Mm -hmm. If I can actually manage to escape. Nope. No promises. Denied. No escape for us. Eh. Can't escape from crossing fate. That's definitely what I wanted to happen that's there. That's helpful. Oh. <laughs> We're free! Yeah, the eye is there. Where, wherever there is. That's the place that the eye is in. The goats are all dead. Yeah. <laughs> to find out why they all died before covered up. Oh, yes, I mean, if they were in a time loop as well. It is a fascinating question. I have no idea how much time is left on this particular loop. We have been down here for a bit. Um, I'm not totally certain. I think it's just like some corally tree type things. Yeah, we can either, you know, locate a ride somewhere around here or just fly into the electrical field and die and do another uh, loop. Again, I have no idea from the center of this planet how uh, long is left in this current loop. Oh, was that a jellyfish? Oh, it was a bit of a purple. I thought I had seen one. Yes, that is a bit of a purple. Oh, kind of the entrancey bit, it mm -hmm. looks like. This place is so dark and creepy. Can we put our flashlight? This this is oh, our this flashlight. Oh, this is our flashlight. <laughs> yes. Oh boy. <laughs> Surprised we've gone this long without seeing a jellyfish. Thought they glowed, so you could see them from quite a distance. Oh, there's a jellyfish. Fine. <laughs> I guess they do shock oh, you. Oh, that scared me a bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Well, there's the current. <clears throat> Will we ever get back to our ship? Who knows? It may have been pulled above it. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, there, we go. there we go. Make it into space. Enough time to explode. There we go. We are now back outside of the uh, inner current. <clears throat> That was productive. At one point, we're gonna have to chase that wanderer. Mm-hmm. Let's fly as far away from the sun as we can. Let's go. Hey, buddy. Is there any way to keep it in sight when we land on it? Because now that I just kind of like... I'm not sure. Goodbye, quantum moon. So do you have to be able to like, land on it? Mm. We do have to keep it in sight, I assume. I don't know if we have like the camera in the ship. I believe you can, yeah, take pictures of that. Getting a sweet shot of a supernova. Fine though, if we get far enough away. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
No one will ever know. Nope. Alright, Scout. <clears throat> that's what happens to you if you end a uh, loop outside of the solar system. Ah, it just like grabs you anyway? Yep, just freezes you over. Well, I guess we did some learning there. That begs the question, where to now? And there it goes. Hmm. Uh, so where are, you, where are you thinking we are? Might be good to check out the Ember Twin. While it's still uh, relatively still sand free. Still unsandy. Yep. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm You're still alive, but you died out there in space. Oh. A little careful about that. <clears throat> I don't want to hit sand or the sun. Both important things to not hit. We are stuck in this time loop and that's all we need to know. Alright. <clears throat> in the middle we go, I guess. mention that an escape pod landed here. Mm -hmm. Learn a bit more. I'm gonna see if we saw about the uh, lake bed. Is that for the quantum moon or? Ember Twins North Pole is where that is. We can go take a look for that. Quite a lot for us to do on the uh, Ash Twin and Ember Twin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More so the Ember Twin, uh, for reasons that will become very obvious. Well, and we did go up there. Yep. Alright, it's starting its saddening. It's a good thing I checked for that. Now we go. That's the key, or uh, uh, where, what's his yeah. name is, yeah. Get buried in sand, this is fine. Hmm. The sand is very much rising right now. Kind of an issue. You vaguely remember this being a bit difficult. Oh, uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> got a little crunched. Got a little crunched there. 
trying to go though down in there i believe so all right there we go that was a shot of the quantum moon in there and then we blinked it away yeah that was that was a crunchy noise right there mm -hmm. just just the right amount of squishy yeah, i remember this one being a little bit difficult uh, there's a lot of stuff on the ash twin and the ember twin that are actually like a little mechanically demanding. Definitely one of the hardest places to like figure out. There is of course also that thing. What is that? Well, it's orbiting very, very close to the sun. Sure, which means we're gonna land in the sun trying to get on it. <laughs> Fucking fault was that. That's the North Pole on the opposite side. Yep. Mm -hmm. Totally fine. I'm a genius. But once you learn it's a quantum moon, you're like, ah, there's things that go away when you don't look at them. Mm-hmm. Alright, let us take two here. Is there a path? Should be. I remember this being rather difficult, mostly because you're on a very tight time limit. Yep. I don't know if you know where you are here. I mean, that's fair. A little bit. Rather difficult. Yep. Ugh. Hello? Ugh, God. 
stuff, I, it's really, really difficult to get these. Yeah, it's Fucking around with this lake bed cave, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We're down to mm. Ooh, spiky cactus lads. Ah, quantum spiky cactus lads. And stalagmites. Ah, mm -hmm. All right, this is gonna get uh... a little strange. Nice trees. That is good. I love those things. Ah! Lad! Oh, that's a lot of dead goats right there. We've come here early for calling us. This is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. A strange wandering rock friend is here, though calling us isn't. Calling us and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks and at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock. I was taking notes, then my lantern died. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Mm. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Oh, boy. So. So, yeah, they stopped looking at the rock and it disappeared. So can we stand on it and then, uh... Like, if we're looking at it via the scout... Currently looking at it all over, but what if I was to? This is scary as fuck, by the way. Oh boy. So yeah, every time I turn the flashlight off, I will end up somewhere else. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> what happened there, buddy? The rock took me with it. Yeah, it actually, the mm. first place we saw it. I do have to be a little careful about that. Is that the same? Uh... I believe that was the spot we saw it before. There was like a board. Ah, uh, that was that board was, I believe, the Coleus is missing board ah. that we mm -hmm. saw the first time around. Mm -hmm. Coleus's log, is it? It sure I'm is. I'm curious. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or an exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. Uh oh. Wonder Rock has returned, and we have seen so delighted to see a sedimentary <laughs> specimen. Wonder if I myself began quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis that the rock could bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Miller is here now, too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act on an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. Pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. <laughs> Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule and he's also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. <laughs> so can we do that with other rocks? Hmm, perhaps so. Bye. But yeah, there's uh there's no rock here anymore. How sad. Hi, buddy. What was the first room we were in. I should probably refill my oxygen while I'm here. 
Yeah, I, I love these stupid fucking rocks. They're so cool. I've never had a video game do shit like this to me, and it scares the crap out of me. Also appears to be a new location. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, because there's no cacti around here, which was the old location. Friends, if you find any signs of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. You vanished without a trace during our research trip and has been missing ever since. So I think we might have seen this. No, we have not seen this. Malaray, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Burr. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn about a unique wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Yes, where was he lost? I'll say the lake bed cave. This is another place that you can learn about that. Turned away, and when I turned back, it simply wasn't there. there. Oh no. Mm -hmm. They were very worried, which, fair enough. Time to squander. No time for games. Let's see where we've ended up. Staircase up here. Generally speaking, though, I suppose the lower you can go without being stopped by sand, the better. Ah, okay. No, no, we're actually high up then. Yes. We're near the, uh... You're gonna get brained by sand. I definitely will. We're fairly low on fuel right now. Pretty close to our ship, though. Yep. Also means that we're pretty close to uh, some supplies. Hey. Okay, so that was enlightening. I don't know if there are any other locations that the rock goes to. We could go take a look. I'm very curious if we can land on any other rocks. That, that is a fair question. A lot of them are pretty small. Yes. The other big thing about it is that you need to, like, create complete, to, darkness like, darkness complete darkness around it. Yeah. yeah. The ones in the Sunless City are kind of unique for that. So yes, I believe that this is the original one we found in the room of the cacti that told us about the fact that he was missing in the first place. It is funny, you can start to see things like the writing on the walls when you uh, shift. Cave. Back here, so yes, I believe these are the locations that we end up in. Yep, looks to be the case. Back to the, the one that I built. I'm pretty sure one of their bodies. They all appear to be moving. Oh, they're all moving. It was like it was standing up as well. Oh. oh, yeah. I noticed one standing and I was like, oh, that's creepy. Oh. That's pretty creepy. Oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> yeah. I was like, did I see that right? And I'm like, fuck, I did. Oh, no. Oh, Fucking quantum no. effects. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Quantum skeletons. I have had the shit scared out of me by this rock, by the way. Like, this one in particular is probably the scariest of the rocks. Oh. It made those skeletons stand up. Oh, mm -hmm. fucking. Fucking quantum rocks, man. Fucking quantum rocks, I swear. Alright, I'm gonna stretch the sea on this ember. Um, so we can potentially get to the Sunless City, although I am not certain, uh, where or how buried it is. There's a thing over there we can take a look at. Over the left. No. That's a good question. I 
It's the eye symbol. Indeed. Oh, that's Why is that there? Not sure. Quantum moon. Oh boy. Okay, we fine. Down we go, into the hatch. Once more into the reach. Mm -hmm. The sun, the city. Sun, the city, alright. Well, that'll be fun to explore. Activate the gravity, gravity cannon. cannon. Ooh, I definitely want to activate the gravity cannon. Call, call the, the shuttle home. home. Ooh, call the shuttle home. Well, that's interesting. What does that do? That worked this thing here. Oh. Hmm. That's an odd looking shuttle. Get inside Whoop. it. The game also just had a moment there. Your situation may be dire. I, Poke, and I landed here in this comet no longer after survival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange and greetings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Is that a wonder? That may just be the interloper. I and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side. The sun in sight and best get the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since the sending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Folk Pi, come back to safe come back to me safely, my friends. Uh-oh. So we're gonna have to go at the interloper at some point. Indeed. Ooh, what's this? We can even move that little orb, right? We can. I don't know how dangerous this will be for us. <laughs> Ooh. Senses in the space. This is a spaceship. Okay, we're gonna land in the sun, huh? We appear to just be hurtling into space, yes. Which, you know, maybe not the best. This is maybe not the smartest plan I ever, I ever made you do. Perhaps. Yeah, we are just flying, huh? We send it somewhere? Oh, hello. Good question. We're definitely flying away from our ship. Should we go put it to the right then? I've never really gotten the hang of these things. What, what do we do with this? Oh, well, we're gonna head right into the dark bramble. You appear to just be kind of floating out into space, huh? Yeah, how can we, like, change its direction? I'm not sure if we can. What is, like, moving it, like... I don't actually know what the various things achieve. Left is but also, out, thank but you. it doesn't seem to sit in the middle or the right. I yeah. don't understand why it's not. Mm-hmm. What's it do? A fascinating question. Why is it only going left? We are definitely schmoovin'. That may not be a good thing to be. No, but I, I don't understand how this, uh... Unfortunately, I don't either. Oh, have you never done this before? I've done it! I just tend to die when I do it. <laughs> Usually more spectacularly than this. When they launch it, everything else is broken. Yeah. Well... Oh. Are you on the interloper? So the middle wasn't working, it was just dropping out. I don't know why. Get the strange feeling this may take uh, most of our fuel. Are we gonna make it? No. 
It only is a little further. It is lit. It's real close. Real, real close. Mm hmm. Yeah, like console is broke. Yeah, it only like does the left one, so it just launches out in space. <laughs> I should meditate, yeah. I don't believe we actually learned how to meditate from Gabro. How do you learn how to meditate? We talked to him, but like he didn't just. He might not have had it, like, available to us. Ah, yeah, we are definitely going to miss that. Sorry, I got you killed. Eh. This game is all about getting killed. Nice look, there's another little person goes by. Mm-hmm. I fucking space physics this. <laughs> My god. I'm gonna land on giant steep. That's currently the plan. I feel like we missed it still. Nope, bye. So when you run out of fuel, you actually start yeah. using oxygen as propellant. Yeah, we've had this happen to us before. I was pretty close, I gotta say. That's, that was closer than I was expecting. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got three minutes of oxygen remaining. We got this. I could potentially have made it to the sun. Died. Hooray! Well, sorry. Ah, we learned something in that run. <laughs> no, we didn't. Yeah, we did. I mean, I guess. We didn't learn anything. We learned anything. the quantum rocks. We didn't learn anything in the ship that had, la had launches in space. <laughs> we did learn about the interloper. Now, something seems to have gone wrong on there. We also know that the Sunless City is basically below that landing pad, so if we want to go there, uh, we can do that. I guess we should, like, go to see if Gabra will teach us to meditate now. Probably a good idea, yeah. I don't know why he wouldn't. <laughs> Might have just been, like, it takes a few loops or something. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Well, a quantum moon. Hi, quantum moon. You do just start seeing it everywhere. Um, will the game tell us what the shuttles actually do? There. Uh, then yeah, you can go ahead. Initially, and then stop working. It was really weird. Mm hmm. And basically, only the left worked. At... Now we split. I wonder if we were on the left too long, and so it. Potentially, yeah. I don't know, broke. It is certainly possible. Yeah, bro, you teach that to meditate. Buddy. I think this might do it. Sure, eh, why, why not? not?
That does end that loop. But I believe we can now do this like whenever. Yep, there we go. We now have the option to meditate until the next loop. Hooray! All right. For all the times we plan to die in space. Yep. Which are many and varied. Yep. Alright, so I guess the question now... Do we do one more loop until we die? I think so. Yeah, the gravity cannon might have gotten covered in Might, might have had some issues, yes. That might have been what happened, yeah. Because we were like halfway through that loop, so it might have just gotten covered in sand. At and, just uh, the right time, and then smarooned yeah, us. Yeah, and then marooned us, yep. But yep, there we go, we recall the shuttle from the interloper. I landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. Larry, the Nomai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended and the then, surface. And then I think we got so far out it wouldn't align with any planets. Yep. So we finally have something pointing us towards the interloper. Mm -hmm. And we also learned about the lake bed cave and how to quantum teleport. Good teleport, Mario. Mm -hmm. Teleport. Alright. Well, where to for this last run? There is still plenty to do on the uh, Ember Twin if we want. Mm -hmm. Can we try and land on the Interloper or on that thing near the sun? Go hog wild, land on something crazy? The Interloper might be a bit more productive, I would say. Basically, the exact opposite side of the sun from us right now. Down the sun that way. Whee. There we go. Just be real careful to skirt the sun. Might be White Hole Station. Mm. I think that's what that is. In there? Uh, the place the White Hole spits you out? Or the Black Hole spits you oh, out? Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Right. there we go. Yeah, we are yeah. going. Yeah, that's White Hole Station over there. Alright. But, uh, there's also an interloper here. Hi, oh, yeah, interloper. This is gonna be fine. We're totally not gonna smash right into this. Mm-hmm. Wink. Who needs a landing camera? Nah, not us. Certainly not us. Well, these days you're gonna jump out of your space suits. It'll be great. Mm-hmm. Bonk! A little stuck there. All right, so uh, a thing about this, they said they went in on the sunward side. Um, oh, the gravity's quite low here. But uh, when we're this far from the sun... Yeah, it's just ice. It's just ice. So we are going to be waiting for the ship to get close it, it enough. Will, it goes pretty fast. Yep. Also, pet that sheep. Uh, good sheep. Good goat, I guess. Good goat. <laughs> It's the closest thing I have to a goat, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I'll stick a third eye on it and then it'll be a no mind. It'll be just fine, yeah. Do we have to like go down into one of these cracks once we melt? Indeed. Well, we're making our way downtown right yeah, now. Yeah, it goes pretty fast. You can see it has a really, really close uh flyby of the sun. Yeah, shoot the sheep into space was true experience. <laughs> it is Fine. quite fun oh, there we go. to watch other planets fly by. Alright, uh, it is fairly slippery in here. A 
little well, ghost mattery, yes. Oh, extremely ghost mattery, oh boy. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet center. Start to think it's more dangerous than we realize. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we'll lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. So is this, a, this is a comment of ghost matter. Is this what's depositing ghost matter everywhere? That is a fascinating question. Not in the entrance of fall into ghost matter. <laughs> sure. It looking clean so far. I think it lands before it found ghost matter. Well, it's really difficult to uh, stop yourself on this stuff. Yeah. But do be careful. That is a ghost matter hole. Especially right since we know that is a ghost matter hole. Much doing there. Oh, are we stuck then? Maybe not. Well, um... Gout makes a lot of light, by the way. A mm -hmm. useful property that doesn't come up super often. Mm -hmm. And now we get to, um. Oh boy. Oh, dear. Dodge on this slide. What makes you say that? <laughs> yeah, so you might have been able to see there is that there are actually multiple paths. Um, this is really difficult. <laughs> <laughs> just, just so you know, because I don't really have a good way to, um, like, do this except by firing the uh, photos as we go, basically. Alright. I also need to be like backstepping just so, because you will gain a ton of speed here. Itself is actually relatively safe. Oh dear, the goat friends died here. Yeah. Miracle 
stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No around the source is what's in within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. Uh -oh. Love exotic matter. Someone is muting our energy readings, so it should be at least ten times what we're seeing. I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. It sure might. I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. They break it open and ghost matter got out everywhere. They might not be the Hi, ones. Hi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagine. It was a stone which eruption, the lethal matter within this rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. The pressure is building as this comet approaches the star system. Turn the shuttle right now, the rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger, leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about the alien matter, the better our chance of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poe. So, we know what happened to them. Yeah. It ruptured, huh? It sure did. And considering the body that's through this crevice here, it did not take very long. No. From when they found it. Is there anything else we can do here? I don't believe so. I believe that hole there is really the only, like, entrance that we've got. Um, that little gash there. We're gonna slam right into some ghost matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, big ghost. Yeah, that ruptured open from the yep. inside. That ghost matter nearby? You don't say. You can kind of see there's a few different holes, and most of them are very ghost mattery. See, just that one little tread. I don't believe there's anything else here. That comet was haunted. What a jerk. That <laughs> comet's haunted. Well, now we know how the solar system was poisoned. We also know why there aren't any Nomai left. Yeah? Oh, did they all get murdered by the ghost matter? Yep. I guess it's dissipated enough that our species was able to... Yes, and I think we were also, like, underground. Yeah, they all or died in normal life, just a massive eruption. We wiped them all out immediately. Yep. And yeah, basically all the skeletons that we saw that we didn't really know the cause of death for, we now know. The other hole that we saw. Not 100% sure if I can get back up this. Guess we'll find out. Yes, we did find out that we were... I've made mistakes. It's fine. The easiest way out is to die anyway. <laughs> Uh, yes, we did find out the thing we were wee baby, wee little amphibious creatures they found. Yep, while well, they were mining. Yeah. I don't know if any of the other Parthians would say anything new to us now. Um, I imagine that what's his name on uh, Brittle Hollow, because he's the archaeologist, uh, would want to know about that. One thing I do know is uh, what's his name at the observatory uh, will want to hear about Feldspar. Ah, yes. You did kind of find him. One he of these survived loops. because they were underwater. Yeah. Yeah. Buy all the goats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like that happened hundreds of thousands of years ago or something. I'm not totally sure what time scales this game works on. 
quite a while, nonetheless. So they never did get to set their probe time loop thing in action. They did indeed not. They but may... we accidentally triggered it, I guess. Hmm. Perhaps we'll learn more about that. Uh, a few other places we explore. I wonder if we were trapped in a loop without realizing it until we saw the statue. It is possible. Orn Fells, there we What's go. up, bro? Yeah, who's the other person in the time loop? There's one more person in the time loop. That is an interesting question, isn't it? I haven't met them yet, I assume. It's on Feldspar. Stars above? This is wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, unless you can do it in 12 minutes. You better hurry, yes. I believe that's all we have We're good. on that. So, yeah, we actually now have some context for a lot of these different things. Not sure we've Angler actually seen fish. a full-sized one of these babies, hey, other than the skeleton that we saw. Hey, baby. Is that a model of the, uh... I believe that's the supernova. Mm, yeah, the supernova event. It kind of just looks a little bit like the eye. It does definitely look quite similar to that. Will one day be the fate of our own son? One day, or today. You know, someday. Got some neat pictures. Got a creepy quantum rock. Uh-huh. Not that there's too much to be done with this. Nope, can't jump on that one. Or make it dark for that matter. Mm-hmm. It's millions of years, 20 minutes, same thing. Quite similar. This is basically the orbs that we move around. I guess it's also basically saying, like, why, yes, we are doing gravity sim simulations of the entire solar system right now. Which is quite cool. I think that'll probably do us for today. We are starting to get to the point of the game where it's kind of like trying to find answers to specific questions rather than uh, just generally exploring things. I believe we've landed on every uh, body in the solar system at this point. Other than that mysterious one in the sun, um, I guess what I can tell you about that <coughs> is that if we were to fly over to that, like fly and try to hit that, the sun would eat us before we actually got do it, there. Do it, do it, do it. End the stream by getting eaten by the sun. Fair do, it, do 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 it. I will make a perfect landing in yes. the weird in thingy two. that seems we to be opening the sun. We haven't crashed, we, we are free? Four streams in, we need to crash into that sun. That is fair. There's an achievement for landing on that station by flying to it. Jesus. <laughs> Hello, sun. I know where we're going. Hey, if it's not a PlayStation trophy, I don't care. <laughs> I have this on the Epic Store, so I don't even know if it has them. <laughs> yeah, fair. Right. Sun. Big fan of that thing. We are not allowed to autopilot to the sun. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. The fucking interloper. What a jerk. Came in here and then spewed. It, it did, in fact, interlope. Shit. And there it is. Can you like alt pilot to that? There's not. Doesn't look it. Certainly yeah. seems neat. Hit the sheep as we fly into the sun. Yeah, you get close enough to the sun and you actually cannot escape it, by the way.
just coming up around the other side. Where is this damn thing? Oh, there it is. That's some sort of like, does it make more sense to try to hit it from this direction or that direction? I mean, we may fly straight into it if we go uh, counter its rotation. Yeah. Not totally sure exactly what you would do if you wanted to land on something like this. That looks extremely difficult. Rather. I assume you can like warp onto it? Hmm. That's probably the way. We're not even quite at its uh, orbit here. That baby is right, right up there. You just gotta install cr uh, Kerbal Space Program. Looks pretty neat. Nice star you got going there. Oh yeah, it is moving. Holy crap. Oh yes. Look at that thing go. I mean, maybe we got to stay a bit closer to the sun. It's, it's actually quite difficult to stay is. this close yeah. to the sun. Like, not even just on a dying sense, in the sense that, like, if I'm not pulling in, I will actually escape it like this. Yeah. Like, that's not me pushing away from it. I was just able to accelerate hard enough that I flew out to uh, the Ember Twin, the, the Twins' orbit. Yep. also really hard to get at like the sun's equator you also see the speeds we are getting launched at because we are getting slingshotted by it which is why we're ending up like 300 uh, meters per second away from the sun yeah I guess like the thing about like horizontal is that we're just past it yes or kind of in the best case scenario, slam into it. Sit <laughs> down there. Like, I skirt that close to it, I can't even stay that close to it. I guess, like, shoot directly at it, take a punt. Did. That was great. <laughs> but yes, there may just be another way. It is true, our wooden ship was just basically skimming the corona there. But that will definitely do us for today. We, we've learned a few things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like where all the goats went. Yep, bye bye goats. Learned about some quantum travel, although we haven't really been able to act on it yet. Perhaps if we could ever figure out how to get onto the quantum moon, we'll be able to do some work with it. Yep. Um, we still don't really know what the whole deal with this time loop thing is. Well, I mean, we've we got a general we sense. We kind of know it's a memory thing that they they invented. They're, yes, yeah. beaming our memories to that area with a big bunch of goat statues in it that we've seen. Uh, mm-hmm. 
And basically <laughs> sending them back in time. That's true. We will throw ourselves into the sun repeatedly for the entirety of the next stream. There you go. Bap, 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 bap. All right, well, Good no my. Sorry you died. we're hoping we'll be streaming Slay the Spire in the evening. But we're <laughs> we'll also, see how we feel. We're also both getting our second uh, COVID vaccinations tomorrow morning. Which we so. have heard may kick our asses a little bit. Yeah. Um, we're hoping one of us is all right. We shall see. So um, we'll, we'll see. The plan is still Slay the Spire tomorrow evening. Um, but we'll let you guys know if that changes. Yep. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Here's the second day. That'll be the Saturday, so... Mm. Yeah, so, hey, we might get there. Hopefully, Slay the Spire tomorrow evening. Vaccine fever stream, baby. Cards! If you thought my decision-making was good before, <laughs> just wait. All right, well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. More Outer Wilds next Thursday. Indeed. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.